Hi guys, this is Love coming to you from the Victory Lighthouse. Okay, you guys, today is January the 6th, 2018, and I am doing a retightening on Love's hair. This tutorial today will be about her journey and where we've come. Uh, so far, I've done uh, a lot of retightening in her hair. Um, I wanted to show you guys the little hiccups and milestones, excuse me, Violet, <laughs> that uh, we've come across <laughs> since um, the last time she's got them done. Okay, so us working moms, us busy moms, us mothers in general, um, sometimes we come to little uh, stops in the road where we cannot um, always retighten our baby girl's hair. And I've noticed that I've come across like these big bulky um, new growths from her last retightening, the prior retightening. So the way you want to fix them is you want to go in with your latch hook or with your needle, whichever you use. And you want to retighten it from the bulkiness and pull it through as if you were retightening it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. One sec. Okay, so this one right here, what you're going to do is take your needle and you're going to go in like so. Okay. And now it's through the new growth that didn't get a retightening. Okay. So you're just going to pull it through that area real tight. Just like that. Just like that. And now it's symmetrical with the rest of the lock. I'll do another one for you. This one. You go through just this so. You bring the lock in and through. And you'll hear more like a snap when you know that you've got it. And it might take a moment. And so, just a minute. So you just snap it through like so. And then you can take it, again, since it's new growth here, you just take it right from where the new growth starts, which should be at the very top. You open your latch hook and you close it. You bring it through that way. And then you go in from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock, if you can imagine. Bring it back down. And it goes through that way. You're going to go from 3 to 9. Imagine a clock. 6 to 12. Those are the angles you're going to be using until you get all the way down to the bottom the very base and so what I've also noticed on both Love and Jadalyn's braid lock journey is that we use light conditioners and sometimes we'll use a spray or what have you and it will cause a little bit of buildup and we'll have to use like a clarifying shampoo. See, all symmetrical now. And so in doing that though, I'm going to zoom in where you could see easily the little buildup there. So what I'm gonna have to do is go in, shampoo again. Uh, they have not been shampooed for a couple of, about a week or so. And so um, I'm going to also just put a, a very gentle uh, cellophane or a dark dye. They have lock dye and stuff to put on there, or you can use the, the, the dye that you prefer. And I'm just gonna go in and uh, go ahead and make all the color one. And so this is gonna allow the locks to look nice and neater. And both of my girls, like Jadalyn, for example, come here, turn around. She has like a sandy blonde color and she has red in her hair as well. 
Um, so sometimes the her look, it'll be a little like dusty looking. So I have to find something that will match her original hair color. Um, and again, excuse the paint because we redecorated their room and they got a little bit of paint on there. So we have uh, a few little things that we need to address on their braid lock journey. But again, um, as I said, hold your head back, love. Uh, it is retightened and they are symmetrical and there's no more bulkiness in her locks that she was experiencing, which I'm so happy to see. And uh, now they're fixed. So I'll come back to you guys and um, update you with when we allow the color to set in the hair as well. Uh, once I get finished with the entire head i'll let you see the after so again this is the before okay and you will see the after so thank you very much and i hope this tutorial has helped you guys out there who is on their natural braid lock journey